Be very quiet. We're tracking a smurf. Oh, big smurf droppings. I think he's hiding under there somewhere. Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. The last couple times that it snowed I decided to clamp my GoPro onto the snow plow or even here onto the uh, skid loader and uh, catch a little bit of footage of what life is like as a snow plow operator. You know, it's not all glory. There's not long pushes of clean powder snow rolling off the end of the blade. A lot of it is uh, BS work for sure. So this is the rig that I run. It's an F550. It's got a 11 foot wide blade on the front, power plow by Snow X, and on the back it has this Ebling 16 foot back blade. This thing is wonderful. It's been on this truck for about four years now, and it's it's starting to show its wear. It's a little sloppy in all the hinge points, but it still works great. Um, yeah, maybe it's due for some cutting edges, but if you look right here as I cross over these railroad tracks, yeah, they, things get beat up pretty quick and easy anyway. In fact, it's things like those railroad tracks that wear on the the shear pins on the wings and you'll see later what happens when they'll shear so check out these loading docks here I mean we're up high right now compared to where those trailers are I mean, we're almost looking over the roof on top of the roof of them trailers in fact this area is so steep that there has been a couple rollovers on this hill as truckers come in and have to run sideways across the hill and then back down. I personally saw one that had uh, one side of the trailer off the ground, but he saved it. And it was on a snowy day, and he was sliding around. You know, some, some drivers are better than others. So, really cold this day. You would scrape the snow off and it would flash freeze underneath. And you can see here that I'm spinning out trying to pull up this hill. Now, there's not a lot of snow in the blade, and there's four yards of salt in the hopper, and a 900 pound blade on the front, so it's not like I don't have traction. It's just flash freezes underneath, and there's not much you can do about it. Here I'm going to pull out this loading dock. This one's been shut down for a few weeks now. Something must be broken in there. and I imagine the contractor don't want to come in and fix it when it's so damn cold. If I would have got a little closer to the trailer on the right and stuck that wing closer to the tire, I would be able to clean that tire track out the whole length. And then when that trailer moved, I could back into that stall, flip the wing out, and we wouldn't end up with a ridge of snow in between the trailers. And in the end of this video, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is another part of the same factory. Uh, this particular door that I'm backing up to is an access door for forklift operators and they bring all these cages and uh, baskets out here into the yard and stack them. Now this looks like it's taking a lot of time and a lot of guys are going to say well I could back drag that with my front plow a lot faster. Well yeah you can. You can move a little faster but the fact of the matter is when you back drag with a front blade snow rolls off that blade I mean look here you don't see snow built up alongside the building I pull all the snow out with this back blade it just saves so much time 
I mean, that would be snow melt that would end up on this ramp. That would just end up being a problem that we won't have to deal with now. So once I got it cleared out enough, uh, I would go in and salt it. And here, if you're wearing headphones, it's going to get loud in a second when I flip the salter on. So you might want to turn the volume down. It sounds a little rattly, hollow. That means I got about a half a load in there yet. When it's full, uh, the tone is a lot quieter. But the problem is, no salt came out. Uh, that load froze in the hopper, or at least partially. And there was a big clump on the spinner. Some more of that glory. We gotta get down to here and get these big chunks of shit out of here so the spinner will roll. There we go. Here's a couple more guys of the crew cleaning a bigger lot. And the loader operator. You're about to see just when he realizes that he's stuck. Right there. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, he's sitting on top of 10 feet of snow right there. And we have to keep trying to push it into that retention pond. Or we're going to run out of room to put it. I mean, we can't just let it stack right to the fence and then not have access into the pond. We have to do our best to keep pushing it back. And sometimes, you know, the way the loader drops through the snow. Once he gets the snow pushed in there with these cold temperatures, it should pack down decent. In this shot, you see me using the back blade. Now, if you look in the top half of the mirror, you can see there's kind of a swale that runs from the building and the curb down into the road. That back blade just works wonderful for pulling that snow out of that swale. You know, if I try to get in there with the front blade, it's just not quite wide enough of an area to get the whole blade in there. And uh, plus the front blade really catches hard on all the cracks that are in that concrete. That ain't gonna work. Well, we got a glove box full of hand tools and shear bolts. So we'll uh, replace that broken bolt right there. I caught it over by the curb there. There's a drain. And it was hidden under the snow. Oh, the, the tool guys are just going to love me for this one. Using a ratchet wrench as a hammer. When, when I moved a hammer out of the way to grab the ratchet wrench out of the glove box. So anyway, the important thing about these back blades is you need to tighten this bolt down all the way. You can't just drop a pin in there and let it shear when it shears. Because that yoke needs to be bolted down tight. Otherwise, it'll spread open. Here we have another shot in the mirror, uh, cleaning out alongside of a semi-trailer in a in a parking lot. And you can see how we reach underneath the trailer and grab the snow and pull it out. And it's just you can't reach underneath that far with a front blade, even with the power wings that we have. It's just not the same. Plus, when you're backing up and your mirror on your passenger side is up against the trailer, yeah, that can lead to problems. Speaking of problems, I got a cup holder full of Red Bull sitting there that's kind of a mess. Yuck. Yeah, this snow plowing gig, I tell you what, there can be some expenses. Back blade. What happened to my top link? And the 
past I've sheared this bolt, looks like the bolt was a little stronger than the framework this time around. So I'll leave you with a little bit more uh, dock clearing. Thanks for watching. Later.